On the V500 PC software, you have gauges and displays. This gauge here is your tachometer. This will indicate what engine RPM you're doing at the time and how close you are getting to your red line of your engine. The orange and red line can be adjusted in the PC software for individual engine setups. This gauge here is your load indicator. This will tell you what load your engine is under at any given time. This indicator here is your fuel pump indicator. It is indicating that you are turning your fuel pump on. This indicator here is telling you that your thermo fan or engine cooling fan is activated. This indicator here is telling you that you've maxed out on your duty cycle of your injectors. You are getting critically close to using them to their full potential. This bar graph here is the actual delivered milliseconds of fuel per injector. We have a bar graph and we have a numerical display. This indicator here, this bar graph, is your delivered ignition timing. We have a number and a bar graph. This square box here is for cars that are using a speed input. This will show you the speed in a numerical form. This bar graph here is a 0 to 30 psi bar graph indicator. It will show you up to 30 psi and you will have it displayed in a numerical value underneath it. This bar graph here is your throttle position. It goes from 0 to 107 percent and shows you in numerical figures underneath. It will turn red when you have reached 100% as an indicator that you are at full throttle already. This is your engine temp bar graph. It's colour coded blue for when it's cool, green for normal operating temperatures and red for when it's over temp. Your temperature will also do be displayed in a numerical value under that bar graph. Your air temp bar graph. This has a numerical figure under it and will show you the increase of air temp. This bar graph here is the duty cycle of your injectors. This bar graph will turn orange when you've hit over 80% duty cycle of your injectors and turn red when you've hit 100% of duty cycle of your injectors. You will also see you have a numerical value under the bar graph that changes colour as well. This numerical figure is your enrichment figure. This will show you how much enrichment you are giving the vehicle at any given time on acceleration. Your boost pressure valve this is showing you the position that your boost pressure valve is in at this present time. Closed loop, this is indicating that closed loop is switched off. This is a battery voltage bar graph and numerical figures showing us that we have 12.5 volts going into the Wolf ECU. This bar graph is showing us the position of our idle speed device. At the moment it is 48.2%. This is the narrow band bar graph. This goes from 0 to 1 volt. Has a numerical number under it to tell you where it is. And a pointer that will show you where it is. This is the wideband bar graph. This shows you from 10 to 1 air fuel ratios to 18 to 1 air fuel ratios. It also has a numerical number display underneath.
these eight lights on the top row down here are your diagnostic lights for your injectors they will light up as the injector output works or if you're using the injector output as an auxiliary it will light up as it's being used your ignition lights will light up as those ignition pins are being used whether they are being used for auxiliaries or ignition outputs it's recommended that any ignition or injection output that you are not using to turn it off which means type the number 255 into your offsets that way you will only see the injection and ignition pins that you wish to see on the next line is your auxiliary LS outputs when they are lit it means that pin is pulling to ground on our bottom row we have our auxiliary HLs which are your high low auxiliaries as you can see here we have the number one and two auxiliaries are pulling high and three four five and six are pulling low you can now see that number two is pulled low and number three is pulled high this indicator here is showing us that our aircon request is in use there is an aircon request being put into the ECU this indicator here is showing us that the turbo timer has got power on it and the computer is running off the turbo timer these three indicators on the bottom left hand corner are for noise this is trigger input noise this top one is a noise indicator and giving us a reference if there is any form of trigger noise this one here the sync X is it's expecting a sync and hasn't seen it so it will indicate a missed sync event